What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. Yes, I do know, we're repeating this again. Okay, as always, a brief explanation to every single one of you guys yet again. So let's press the start button before we go into a cutscene, and yes, there's no Coliseum in column A. Yes, let's go right ahead and fill this memory up with Pokemon Coliseum. So, I want to say it was last year. Yes, it was last year where I actually came out with the very first episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Obviously, we didn't do anything with it because, well, you know, Draven's a little slacker and all that stuff. But I've managed to write down a schedule to where I can actually follow and it would actually work with me and the rest of the walkthroughs that I'm currently doing. And that is a once a weekend uh, episode of Pokemon Coliseum because obviously... You know, I hardly ever played this game, and this is like my third time going through it. I may miss some stuff, I may do some stuff, and you know, the whole week will actually give me a chance to actually relearn a few things, that way I can go step for step and actually show you guys a walkthrough. So, that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. That is a once a weekend episode of Pokemon Coliseum, so let's go right ahead and go straight to the story mode, obviously. Our name it has to be Wes. For this guy right here, but you guys already know what the name is. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. But I'm simply known as Draven. So let's go right ahead and put in that Draven name. And let's go straight into that cut screen. Okay, guys, so here we are, starting off our adventure yet again here in Pokemon Coliseum, and uh, that was a pretty big uh, cutscene right there where, you know, there's a bunch of people dying, people blowing up and all that stuff. I don't know about the dying part and all that thing. Anywho, like I was saying, guys, yes, this is a once a weekend episode. And uh, you guys will get your daily dose and all that crud alongside Pokemon Stadium. And, uh, well, let's see. What is there? What else is there to do right here? Oh, yes. In this game right here, this actually takes advantage of the whole double battle concept that Generation 3 comes out with. And you already start off with two Pokemon with you, both Ombreon and Espeon. If you guys want to take a look right here, you got both a Dark and Psychic type Pokemon. Both actually have uh well both have their own move sets and all that stuff such as bite secret power taunt and snatch and let's see what uh espion has right here confusion return reflect and helping hand which obviously helps out its partner pokemon if you guys take a look at its uh or the pokemon stats right here you can see that you know espion's more of a special attacker whereas ombreon is the special defenseman so Later along the uh, 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 later along the game, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different Pokemon. It's not a lot, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to actually build a team around this, and it it like it kind of got me out of a loop just because it's like it's not the typical Pokemon game right here. It's more of like you have to swipe Pokemon from other people, you have to strategize between double battles and all that stuff, and yeah, we got we got a lot of work to do. So let's go straight ahead and see what's up right here. So as you can see, two individuals are going to be coming out of the house, or the, the bar right here. And we got this guy's like, wow, we sure picked out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds the flavor, I swear. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
And we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. Boss will sure be, uh, uh, sure fix us up good with a big rewards, too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Hmm. And they're gonna be walking out and going in their hover, their hover, uh, truck right here, or whatever this is. But if you guys take a look, there is something right there that they bagged. And we're gonna be going straight into this whole bar right here. This place doesn't look like much, but it is something right here. And, well, the news is gonna appear, and he's. And it's going to be saying, authorities or authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in the Eklo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the of the explosion. By by the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become more apparent eventually. Hmm, I wonder who did that explosion right there. Now, Team Smag Snagum is the team that you guys want to actually take on right here. And if you talk to this guy right here, let's see what this, let's, let's, let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax and stick around for a while. Hmm, that is true. And, well, let's see. I think we have to talk to this guy. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Yes. I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. <laughs> Though I doubt I have any chance of beating you. That is probably true. So we're going to be stepping out outside right here. And obviously this guy's going to be like, Yo, wait, wait up. Hmm, what's up, homie? Hey, my name is Willie. After I got a good look at you, well... I got this urge to battle you. It's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it. It's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So what do you say? Let's go. Let's you and me have a quick battle. Sure. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right. All right then. Over here, this way. Okay. So we're gonna be going over there, and Willie's gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time." Vroom vroom. Let's roll. Hmm. So this guy right here is like, uh, <laughs> he's like a, a rider. Well, here we have Rider Willie, and he's going to be coming out with his zigzagoons right here. Two zigzagoons. And obviously, they are both normal type Pokemon, and we're going into double battles, as you guys can see. We've already done some kind of battling right here, and we do have to be very strategic with everything that we got right here. As you guys remember, Ombreon is more of a special buff right here, and Espeon, obviously, is the helping hand and the special attacker. Eventually, you're going to find some other Pokemon that can actually help you out right here. And, well, look at this. We're doing the helping hand. Obviously, Ombreon is ready to go with a secret power. And, well, look at that. Zigzagoon takes a good hit right here. And it's actually zigging and zagging, unlike our Pokemon Emerald version right here. And here we go, Zigzagoon, zigging, zagging, hitting Ombreon. And, well, look at that. Now, in Generation 3, I remember, you know, I got, well, a little bit of a story right here. It was by Generation 3 I decided to stop playing some more Pokemon because I was actually, actually going into sports and everything. And, uh, you know, as soon as I found out about Pokemon... Coliseum and uh, the, the follow-up to Coliseum and look at that that's pretty easy right there uh, I kind of I, I kind of kicked myself in the butt just a little bit because it was like okay so I want to focus on sports but you know I want to play these games too and you know the, the little chances that I got playing these games it was so fun but it was like you know eventually we all grow up and do our thing but now that I'm a grown-up and I can buy grown-up stuff like this you know we can play it and go on an adventure together right here. And as you guys can see, we have won our first match right here in Pokemon Coliseum. He's like, wiped out. I still need some seasoning. Or seasoning, yeah. And yes, we do get a little bit of money. And, well, he's like, but yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Fennec City? It's out west here. Uh, you'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battling in. Maybe I should. Maybe I will. 
Now, I think if you go back in here, this individual will be able to actually, let's see. Listen, pal, if you're intending to travel out some more, you might want to stock up on supplies here. And this guy actually does sell supplies, as you guys can see. He only sells, uh, well, he only sells items, well, healing items right now. And, well, nothing, nothing is getting, like, no, no, nothing's giving me the impression that we're going to get, uh, we're going to get poison or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to be traveling to the next city right here. And I believe this is the, 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 whatchamacallit, the region of Ore. Could be wrong. So the next place we can go to is Phoenix City. So let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. And look at this. We're like in Star Wars right here. <laughs> okay. So take a look at this uh, nice oasis of a city. And these two individuals that we met early on are waiting for us right here. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. Make it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle in, uh, settle in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> hey, help! Someone and let me out! Kidnappers! <laughs> the tape didn't hold... The, the tape didn't keep her yaps shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, drat. Did that punk over there hear all that? Yeah, I kind of did. Oh my god, there is something going on. Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Shady guy Folly wants the battle. And we are going to be taking on Shady guy Folly going with Whisper right here. And well, let's go right ahead and get this Ombreon and Espeon going. Eventually, you're going to be capturing some more Pokémon, guys. Uh, you're actually going to be snagging them. Yeah, snagging them. And, well, we're going to be going with a secret power right here. And, obviously, we're going to be going with a helping hand because, well, you know, that's us. So, here comes the helping hand. This will boost up just a little bit for us. And we're ready to help. And here it comes, the secret power attack. Again, most of these battles like to drag on. Eventually, you know, when I actually play further into this game right here, guys, I will be speeding up some of the battles. Don't have a speed battle or a speed button right here, but, you know... Thanks to video editing, I will be doing uh, just that right there. Editing out and speeding up every single battle. And, well, this person right here is uh, like raising its attack. So, now we are going all out. And we're going to be beating the crud out of both this, uh, this Whismer right here. So, here we go. Confusion attack for the win. And that takes care of that other Whismer right there. Okay. Alrighty. And Ombreon... And look at that, Ombreon grows to level 27, which is great. And, well, look at that. We defeated Shady Guy Folly, and he's like, God, you're tougher than you look. Maybe, quite possibly. And yes, we get ourselves uh, a little bit more monies for this, uh, for our troubles right here. You took out my Whisper. You're an ordinary trainer, aren't you? Hmm, huh, wait a sec. That face. You might be, or might you be Team Snaggums? Huh, really? Team Snagums? Wait, 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 what? What? What's going on here? Eek, somebody robbers! They're robbers! You be quiet. We're no robbers. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers! Yeah, that's not, that doesn't really help that much. And, well, it's like, what? You dingbat! Don't you shut your mouth. Don't you shoot off your mouth? Don't get all happy just account of winning this once. The next time we meet, I'll trash you and your Pokemon and all. Hmm, okay. So... It appears that we have uh, saved somebody. He's like, oh, yuck, there's somebody inside. That's kind of messed up saying, uh, oh, yuck. God, this is tied to good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. Well, let's see what let's see what's inside this. And the sack's mouth is finally firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot. Yes, we will. And, yes, we're helping this person out. And it turns out, well, hello there. Thank goodness I'm saved. Hmm. She's looking around and he's like, where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Fanex City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. Yes, I did. The way he battled those goons, it's it, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And uh, you are? Oh, so you're named Draven. 
Uh, I am. And of course, uh, I don't really know the name, so I usually go with Rui right here. So we're just going to go with Rui. Yes, we are going to name her Rui. And, well, my name's Rui. I'm, gl I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighbor or I was in a neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys? Did they uh, use a peculiar Pokemon? Mmm, a peculiar Pokemon? No, they look they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by pecu peculiar Pokemon? Oh, uh, no, no, that that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for for his advice. He's a very friendly person or a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up to the stairs in the square and it's on your left. Hmm. Oh, the mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Draven. I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I, or can I get you two to escort me for a while? Sure, why not? Uh, if there's a damsel in, in distress, I am forced to do it. I am forced to help her out. Yes. Thank you, Draven. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If you're with me, Draven, it won't matter if those thugs come by again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. Yeah, this is going to be a while. And so we have a partner. And look at that. That's the sound right there. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. So here we are in Finax City. City of Water. And, uh, well, many of you guys have been asking for Pokemon Coliseum to come back. Folk, or for me to just be playing Pokemon Coliseum. few things about you know, why I wasn't playing Pokemon Coliseum. A, I didn't have the appropriate uh, equipment to actually use Pokemon Coliseum at the time. It wasn't until, like, you know, I actually invested in myself and brought in a few new equipments right here. That way I can actually start playing this game properly. And then the second one, I got a little lazy. In fact, my schedule got a little too crazy. That's why, you know, we stopped that one episode and all that stuff. What's or what fine weather is this is? It's truly perfect sort of day for a Pokemon battle. So, young one, how about indulging this old man? Let us battle, sure. So, while saying all this, guys, yes, my schedule got a little too crazy going into that particular time when I was playing the first episode of Pokemon uh, Coliseum. But, like I was saying before, I actually fixed up my schedule, or I actually just wrote it down and planned it out. It's gonna be one episode per week. I know, I know. It's uh, it's just a little. It's a little too. Uh, it's too little of an episode for for a walkthrough. But this actually gives me a, a chance to actually record one episode per week. It's not that hard, and I could do it anytime I want to. And plus, it gives me enough time to actually remember everything that goes into Pokemon Coliseum right here. So hopefully that works. And, wow, I, I'm actually getting some good luck right here. And look at that, it's hurting itself. Okay, look at that. Not only that, but, you know, we got Pokemon Stadium as well. So, you guys are getting walkthrough uh, videos. And, uh, you know, again, I'm hoping that this turns out to a, su a success. We're going to try and get as many things done in both walkthroughs. And uh, when the time comes where I get a little too busy, I will let you guys know. And just like that... We have defeated the old man. He's like, whoa, I've got the conceit on with this one, lad. Yes, and we get some money right there. Okay. So, let's see. Ah, yes, you're young, but you've got a bit of, uh, you got a bit of a spine. Why, you're just like me when I was young. Well, indeed, yes. Okay. Now, I think there are some spare items around this area right here, too. So, we should probably look for those. And, well, this guy is looking at us all, em like, envious and all that stuff that we can actually travel and all that crud. And, well, let's see. There are some items around this area, which we will get to. That is a cast form, if you guys didn't know. And before we do anything, let's go straight to those items right here. And, well, this is something. Hmm. I guess you're traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. Foo 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 foo. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. That guy looks a little evil. He does look evil. And maybe we should go in here just to see what's going on. And, uh, well, look at this. I believe that is the mayor because he's, you know, a little overweight and does have the hairdo as a mayor. 
Ah, you must be the travelers. Welcome to Fennec City. I am SK, the mayor. Or is it Ekade? I don't know, is it French or something like that? Now you wanted, uh, you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? And of course, Rui, Rui is like, mm -er. Oh, what may I do for you, pretty young lady like you? Or a pretty young lady like you. I, I saw it. Saw it? And what did you see? I saw, I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Ooh, my. Pokemon like a fighting machine? And it attacks people? Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I made it... I made the prisoner of some fighting... Or frightening men, or I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm. I see. I understand. I will order or I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no, no. There is no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask, the, I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get uh, some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be a Pokemon trainer yourself, or Pokemon trainers yourself. If you, if so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and enjoy our Pokemon Stadium. It's, breath it's breathtakingly beautiful stadium benefiting our Oasis City. Oh, okay. So that right there was the visit to the mayor. Now, after you do that... There is a little bit of a something something right here. You can't. Well, you can. We're gonna be back in Phoenix City. There is a little bit of a something something going on right here. There are three individuals blocking the way to the next entrance right here. But I think we have to go straight down to the middle of the Pokemon Stadium. Actually, yeah. Actually, let's go right over here. I want to get to that guy because I think there is some individual right there. Yeah, the exits are still not done, but if we talk to this guy, hold on. I'm no good at schoolwork, but I'm pretty hot stuff at Pokemon battles. Your trainer. Okay, so we're going to be battling yet again. You know, me rambling on on some stuff right here. So yes, guys, there's going to be a lot of double battles right here. And the majority of which, if, uh, if it's unimportant, if it is unimportant, I will, you know, I will be switching off. I will be, you know, speeding in. Speeding it just a little bit with the uh, video editing and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we have two bug Pokemon. Two Wurmples. Or, no, actually a Wurmple and a Silcoon. So what's going to happen is we're going to be going with a Secret Power to you. And we're going for a Confusion to you. Because you are a Poison-type Pokemon. Now, this game right here actually tests your, uh, your strategies when you actually capture some of the Pokemon that are available to you. And trust me, there are not a lot of available Pokemon right now. And that takes care of Wurmple. And here comes a secret power attack. And that Silcoon actually, yeah, it's pretty strong. And it's going to keep on buffing up its defense. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and not raise its defense just a little bit more right here. So, uh, let's see. What was another thing, another reason to why I didn't play this game too? Uh, yeah, the equipment. Um, I'm going to go back to the equipment. Um, if you're just trying to do some Poketubing and all that stuff, guys, just make sure to, like, you know, go for the next, uh, you know, go for go for the brand that's a little bit more of a, or a little more expensive, if you will. Because it will it will get you a long way. Obviously, I got myself some Elgato stuff, and uh, this is the result of it. Now we can actually play Crystal, or no, not Crystal, but Coliseum right there. And... Look at that, we won. And we got ourselves a TM. I wanna know I wanna know what this TM is. Actually, that is a PDA right there. Eventually we're gonna get some emails. But let's go straight for the items right here. So as you guys can see, we already have items in our storage. And no Pokeballs just yet. But let's see what the TMs are. TM41 Torment. This prevents the target from using the same move in a row. So that. In this game right here is going to be a little bit more useful than uh, 
than most games uh, that we play. And well, let's go straight into the Pokemon Stadium right here. Love it how it like he says Pokemon Stadium and it's just a uh, big old word right here. And I think let's see, talk to this lady. She's gonna be like, "Welcome to Fennec Stadium. This is where you register trainers for challenging." However, the current challenge has already uh, started, so we are no longer accepting trainers for the challenge. Please come back and enter the next challenge. Well, okay. And let's see. I think we have to actually step outside right here. And when that happens. We got these thugs coming out, and he's like, Ah, hey, Driven, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor. Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you rip off the uh, snag machine? You've got some nerve. Uh-oh, what is going on right here? Who are these people? Huh? Are they Team Snag'em? And what do they mean by traitor? Draven, you mean... Uh-oh. That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snag'em, just like us. But he, he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best Team Snag'em at snagging Pokemon without fail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the best. And, well, obviously, we're going to have to say yes because, well, you know, this is part of the storyline. And Rui is like, oh, so it is true. That's a little shocking. Hey, Draven. Come on, hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped, uh, ripped off from the hideout. Ooh, so that's what the thing was. <laughs> the snag machine. Draven, do you really have something like that? Yes, I do. The snag machine was built for trainers. When a trainer puts the snag machine on, on their Pokeballs, they're converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from other trainers in battle. Hmm. Hey, you blabbermouth. Keep that stuff secret. I get it, Draven. That's why these, uh, that's why these creeps keep chasing after you. Yeah. <laughs> creeps? What do you mean by creeps? God, this is getting us nowhere. If you don't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force. And, well, here it is, guys. We're going into uh, more battles right here. So we're going to be taking on Team Snagum, Walkin, And, yes, he is coming out with some other Pokemon right here, both Coughing and Corefish. And, uh, well, we're going to be going straight for the same people and I see a type weakness, so we're gonna be, yeah, we're definitely gonna be uh, picking on a Pokemon right here. So what's gonna happen is a secret power to Quartfish right here, and we're gonna go with a confusion to coughing, and just like this, bam. Oh yeah, super effective, there goes coughing. And why would you be holding your breath if you fainted? I don't know, I, I, just, I just don't know. The animation is just weird. And, well, that gives us some more XP, and let's go right ahead with a secret power. And that really doesn't do anything to Corefish, since it is a very defensive Pokemon. Here comes its Vice Grip, and that doesn't do much. Okay, secret power, confusion. Yeah, the majority of the stuff that you're going to be doing right here, guys, yes. Espeon is going to be the one that's going to get you out of places, and... Ombreon's gonna be the one that's just gonna be like defending you and all that stuff. You know, they both coincide in some kind of way. And just like that, we have defeated a Team Snag of Memor. And well, he's not he's not happy at all. Okay, so that's that. We get some monas, monies, and well, who's next? Blast you, Draven! Don't you think this is over? We're going to get that snag machine back, just you wait. And, well, I thought we were going to bet all three, but I guess I forgot all about that. And Rui's going to be asking, a, uh, or is going to be talking to us. She's going to be like, well, what do you know, Draven? So you're, team Sa you're from Team Snag'em. All right. To be accurate, I should say former Team Snag'em. It's okay, Draven. It doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me from when I, when I was in trouble. Yes, I was. Hell yes, guys. That's right. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought up of something after listening uh, to those creeps. Listen, Draven, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs. And that is true, guys. Now, here's a messed up part. There is a Pokemon uh, shop right here. And I, I need to get to that Pokemon shop. But it doesn't sell any kind of Pokeballs whatsoever. So what you need to do is you have to actually go back to the original town. Let's just go ahead and take a look at this uh, shop right here. So look at this. Talk to this guy. And let's see. 
No Pokeballs whatsoever, but you will be able to buy some healing items right here. So, just be aware of that. So, we have to go into the next... We have to go to the previous town that we actually originated from to get those Pokeballs. So, what's going to happen is... We're going to go outside right here. And... Rui's like, listen, Draven, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs at the Pokemart. Uh, okay. Hmm. Maybe... The Pokemart right here. This is the PC. Just to heal up our Pokemon. And what's the mess what's so messed up about this is the fact that, you know, you can't really save you can't really save the game from the start button right here. You actually have to go to you actually have to go to the PC in order to do that. So if we can buy Pokeballs right around here. I could be wrong. I've been haven't played this game in quite some time. So here is Nope. There is no Pokeballs right here. This is the Pokemart. And, let's see, talk to her. No, she won't want to talk to you, but she's still going to be in your way. Let's see. Hmm. Pokemart. There's nothing right here. Okay. Nothing whatsoever. And, well, Rui, there's no Pokeballs right here. What do you expect me to do? Oh, yeah. How about we go to the other exits right here? Let's see. I wonder if uh, the exits actually work this time. Listen, we should go shopping at Pokemart. <laughs> oh my lord, oh my lord. So, let's go right ahead. And not go there. Let's see what this guy has to say. So you're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies and uh, move up here, I recommend. Um, okay, anyway, the shop is best uh, around, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be right back, guys, just to get to the next cutscene, but I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, guys, and we actually have to talk to these people in order to, you know, actually get this whole Pokeball thing, uh, adjusted right there. Again, it's been a while since I've actually played this game right here, guys. She says that we need to actually go out to the outskirts to actually find an individual who, who sells the Pokeballs. Obviously, we do not have Pokeballs right here in this town, and, well, let's see... Yes, yeah, so we're going to be stepping out outside right here, and we have to go straight back to outskirts stand. And look at this. Man, that, that's a cool bike. I wish we I wish we actually had that in like future versions. Oh yeah, Violet and Scarlet. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so here we are back in outskirt land, and if you talk to this individual right here, he's going to be like, "Listen, pal, if you're intending to travel for Okay, we already read this." And she notices it. She's like, "Hi, can I ask you for something? Don't you sell any Pokéballs?" Huh? Pokeballs, you say? There no, uh, there's no call for those things around these parts. Where did I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are. A, a little dusty, I'm afraid, but otherwise perfectly usable. Here, take these. I'll let you have these for free. And bam, we get ourselves some Pokeballs right here. Five Pokeballs. Well, since I found them, I may just as well put them, uh, put them out with the rest of the merchandise right there. If you need some more, well, how about buying them from me? Yes, I will. And, well, let's go right ahead and buy some more Pokeballs, because the majority of this game right here, it's all about Pokeballs, guys. Uh, a lot of the items that you use right here is going to be Pokeballs. Not a lot of healing items and all that stuff, and that's kind of like, you know, the gist of this whole game right here. So, let's see. Now we have to go back. We have to go back into... Uh, Phoenix City right here, and that is exactly where we're gonna be stopping our adventure because As soon as we step into Phoenix City Lady right here is like oh, it's you two Something's trouble or something trouble is happening a whole lot of scary men came out here. I Think I saw those two creeps uh, who took off in the truck earlier Hmm, so what is going to happen now? is something very very important guys there are actually three individuals if i'm not mistaken in the three exits right here i want to say or am i getting a little too ahead of myself no yeah i am getting a little too ahead of myself right now so let's go straight to fennec and i think i know where to find them they're gonna be down the middle somewhere we still need to battle these guys right here so this guy is getting driving me crazy with running around here and well let's see not right there. Where? Oh, where? Oh, they're probably at the mayor's place or something like that. Let's see. Are they at the mayor's place? And I completely forgot about that. 
that you have to actually walk in. And well, would you look at that? Master Mirror B! It's it's him! He's the one that took the girl from us. And here we have this guy. He's like, oh, aren't you boys friendly pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Draven or something? I so don't like saying this, but we're not at liberty to keep you, la your lady friend, at liberty. That sweet young thing, she can see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That just will not do for, uh, for what we're planning to do. No, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you will, you can avoid pain by keeping your nose out of uh, places you need to be. Oh wow. Okay. Boys. Oh boys. Oh wow, and he's got Power Rangers too? Holy crud. Yes! Yes, we will! Boys, I shall make my return to Pyrite right now. Do you rem or do remember that I will be waiting for you uh, for you to return with my little lady? Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. Woo! And yeah, this guy is like Disco Inferno or nothing, but he's got like three Power Rangers right there. Holy crud. Let the music spin, let it get it on! And yeah, that's his theme song. And wow, he is all about the songs. And well, look at this. The Power Rangers are leaving us. And uh, well, we got to battle these guys again. You, you, you. The last time you caught me off guard. That's not going to happen again. Oh, okay. So <laughs> here we go. Peon Folly wants to battle. And yes, we're going to be battling inside the mayor's office. And well, he's going to be coming out with his Whisper right here. And, uh, well, he's got himself a Lotad. This Pokemon right here can be used for specific things. We will find out later on into our little adventure right here. And, well, let's see. Secret power onto Lotad. And let's go straight for a Confusion to Whismer right here. So here we go. Confusion attack. And this one defeats Whismer very easily. Okay, so I got to remember that. Whismer weak. Very, very weak to special attacks. And, well, it's a two-on-one battle. Here comes Umbreon, ready to go. And uh, just like that, Lotad. Oh, wow, it's not it's not going to fare well. And it is paralyzed since we are in, in well, I guess, like, I, I guess you could say it's a regular terrain. It does needle uh, punch or needle, needle move or something like that. Needle arm, yes, needle arm. And, well, let's see. Let's go with special or uh, secret power and confusion. And just like this, bam. Lotad has been defeated. And, well, it is not happy at all. Yes, Ombreon. Definitely a winner right here. And uh, look at this. Look at that. The folly is like, oh, blast it. I got tripped up again. Yes, you did. You you have. Okay, so we get a little bit of monies. And what what is next right here? My turn now. I'm not going to end up like Folly. Oh, here we go. Another battle. Okay. Another thing too, guys. This game will be long. Everything will be long. Including the episode. So, uh, I want to say we will have chapters right here too. Just like in... All my other games, yes, I'm being as organized as I can be right here on on my walkthroughs. And well, let's see. Let's go with a bite attack and a confusion attack to this guy. So yes, we will be as organized as possible, especially with the chapters. If you guys want to skip ahead and find different things, that way we can make this. You guys can actually, you know, make this a little quicker on yourself. But if you guys want to watch the whole episode, then that's fine by me. And well. We 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 oh wow he's coming out with some more Pokemon right here. He's got himself a very powerful Makuhita. And take a look at this. So Rui is looking at this Makuhita and it's like, it's that one! It's that Pokemon! Those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon! I can see Black Aura coming from it! They must have done something to, to that Pokemon! Oh wow. And just like that we get attacked. So Draven, be careful, this Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people. I know, Draven, I hate to say this, but there's no other choice. Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys. Please, you have to do, or you have to. You can only actually, or, what was it again? You can, actually, only you can do it. And, well, 
this is actually our introduction to, you know, snagging Pokemon right here. And there are quite a few Pokemon that you can snag, including legendary Pokemon right here. And, well, damn, I will try my best, my very, very best to try and capture these Pokemon. So what's going to happen right here is we're going to try and weaken this Makuhita and get rid of this Duskull right here. So here we go, Confusion Attack. And there goes Duskull. I think this guy has one more Pokemon in his, up his sleeve. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Bite Attack. Obviously, we're doing some uh, type disadvantages right here. Yeah, we're literally trying not to get this Pokemon to, to faint. But this guy actually has one Pokemon. So, again, let's go right ahead and use a Reflect. That way... That way, this Pokemon's physicality doesn't hurt us as much, especially for Ombreon, who is a Dark-type Pokemon. So here we go. Bite attack. And that is not effective. Holy crud. Okay, so we really have to hit it. We have to... Yeah, and thankfully, this Pokemon flinched, so let's go... Let's see. Let's go as a secret power. And... Nope. You know what? Screw it. Reflect. Yes, it's failed, but we're trying not to buff up Ombreon right here because we do not want to miss out on our first Pokemon. And Makuhita is getting chopped down. And here comes its Focus Energy, which obviously will increase its critical hit ratio right here. So, let's see. Bite Attack one more time. And let's go ahead and screw around with the Reflect. It failed. And here comes a Bite Attack. And not so effective, but let's see if it makes it flinch again. Come on. Nope, here comes a cross chop, and this one doesn't affect us very, very much. So, you can capture this Pokemon right here, since it does have a, block, a black aura. So, let's go ahead and start using it. And we're going to throw it at Makuhita. So, here comes a snag ball. Bam. And we're going to be throwing it at this gentleman right here. And just like this, Makuhita, come on. Stay in there. Come on. And just like that, throwing out the peace sign. We have caught our very first snaggable Pokemon. And, well, the player is like Mirror P or Mirror BP. On, yeah, we have defeated a Trudely right here. Holy crud. Okay. Darn it. You're... But you're good! You snagged my Pokémon! Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed! Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got flattened again! Mirror B's going to get chew us out! What do we do? What is there to we do, or do, do we do? Run away! Okay, well he's gonna run away right here, and uh, well... Because of that, Rui's gonna be like, You did it, Draven! You snagged that Pokémon from that goon! But I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys. Okay. So, that right there was our introduction to our very first snag. And now, now they're out here. Now, you guys remember those three Power Rangers. The green, the, the red, and the blue Ranger. They all come out here for a very particular purpose. Because each one of them has a starter from the Johto region. One being Bayleaf. The other one being Cyndaquil. Or, what was it? Cyndaquil, uh, Kolava, and then the other one being Krokona. Now, you guys have a week. You guys have a very, very good week to actually choose out my next Pokemon. Is it going to be Bayleaf, Krokona, or Quillava? You guys have that choice. Comment down below if you guys want to see one of those guys onto my team right here. Obviously, this game will be coming out every Sunday, so just, you know, stay patient. We do have six more days. And this is all because I just want to, you know, I just want to pace myself and, you know, do this properly and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. We will be continuing our adventure right here in Pokemon Coliseum. Do not worry, we're not going to leave it alone and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart bunch right there. Support this whole place, this whole thing right here. I will be back next Sunday for another episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. See you guys.